Hey there, my webcrafting wizards. Do you have text on your website? Cool. Does it have particles though? Exactly. So in today's episode, I'll teach you how to create this awesome text particle effect where we can create any text we want and add it to our website. And when we hover over it, it has this cool disintegration effect. So we're going to be using Spline, Wix Studio, no code at all. Let's get into it. To create this effect, we'll need some sort of 3D software for the particles. And we can use Blender, but Spline is a fantastic tool where we can just easily come in here, create a new file, add the particles and export it back to our website. So let's open up Spline. You can join for free. Um, here we have empty rectangles. We're going to get rid of that. And what we need to do is just create some text. It's going to be really simple. Get the text tool up here. Expand this and let's say scale infinitely. So there we go. Once we have the text, we can go down here to the color, change it to white, and we can up the font size to something like 100. Okay, let's expand this. And also we can pick a font that we like. I'll do pop-ins and I'll pick black. Now that we have our text, we can click on it and we can use this extrusion slider here to extrude it to maybe like 25 ish. Okay, just so the particles can go around the text. So let's do 20, 20 ish like that. And we'll also add a little bevel, maybe like a quarter of that. Okay, once we have that, we can hide the text by going here to the panel and clicking the eye icon. And now we can add a particle emitter. So let's click on that. For the color here, we're going to choose both white, but you can experiment with different colors. For the birth rate here, we're going to pick a huge number like 5000. So we want loads of these to spawn in. The lifetime is going to be quite low, two seconds. And here for the alpha fade, we're going to leave it the same, but the size fade, we're going to say constant. All right, we don't want it to change inside once it gets to the end of its lifetime. For the speed, we'll lower this to two, and then we'll head back here to the gravity and lower this to something like 0.2. For the size here, let's lower this to two. And for the image here, let's pick this solid circle. Okay, now we can scroll down here and actually pick our text as the shape. So we can pick custom object and text. We can add some variation with the particle randomness down here. So I'll turn the scale all the way down and the mass all the way up. And here for the particle noise, we can also change the scale up to something like six. As you can see, now it just stays in place. And now if we find the correct angle, you're going to see that we have our nice, beautiful text. Let's reset the camera and zoom in a little bit. The next step is to add some sort of interaction to this. So we can head down here to the uh, drop down menu and choose particle force. We're going to switch this over from box to sphere. And here, rather than doing collider, we're going to say collider here, we're going to say attractor. As you can see, that automatically starts dragging this in. If we change the intensity as well, let's do something like two. But we'll change it from infinite to inside area. So now we'll only affect, as you can see, when we go with this over it. Now that's not too intense, so let's increase it to maybe like 3.8. There we go, maybe even more, maybe to the maximum. There we go, it's so satisfying when you go quickly over it like that. Okay, and now the last step is to make this follow our mouse. So that's really simple, we can go here to state. And rather than start, we can pick follow like that and hit play, as you can see. And that's really it. And it, it's not really, you know, limited to text. If you want to import some sort of 3D model and create the particle effect around it, you can do that just as easy. So the last step is to head back here and remove this background color from the scene. And one more thing I want to do is turn on the bloom effect here in the settings. Okay, so now when we hit play, Get a nice little glow added to it. Okay, so let's export this. We can hit the export tool, go to play settings. Here we're gonna disable orbit, pan, zoom, everything pretty much. And here as well, we can get rid of all of these settings. Let's head over to Wix Studio and create a blank canvas. Here what we can do is grab this section and just expand it uh, to fit the screen. All right, so we'll use that. And now here, we can just head over to the top left corner and import an iframe. We'll enter the code here 
and we'll enter the copy code from spline. So hit export, copy embed, and paste that in there. And there we go, we have our live website. Now let's also add a cool little effect here. I'll just take another page and expand this up for us. I'll do fit to screen like that. I'm gonna grab this and add a background video to it. So let's try to see if we can find some sort of a pattern or gradient. Let's try this purple gradient here. Now if we scroll to the bottom, we can add a position sticky to that and a position sticky to the top of the page as well. Okay, and now when we hit play, scale infinitely, there we go, that's really cool. And then when we scroll down, as you can see, that goes in position sticky, and then this comes over on top of it like that. Super cool. So one more thing I wanna do is add a little line on the second page, expand it all the way to the end, what we can do on this is something like a blur if we want or stretch, have fun and check out these animations. I'll put the limit to something like 30 and the blur intensity to 30 as well. So as you can see, when we scroll down, it gets faded out like that. So let's scroll, scroll and look at that. How cool is that effect? So thank you so much for watching this episode. Drop a like, drop a sub and let me know if you want to see more 3D animations. Until next time, bye bye booty.